Eagle palette number four. And this is the final one, guys. This is it. It's all here. And soon to be out in the open. I like it. Let's finish this <laughs> up and uh, let's see how well this is going to turn out and lay it all out there now. All out, guys. So all obviously out. palette number one was the big one. We did that live. Three items. We got <laughs> three items. almost all of our money back in that first pallet. And then the second pallet. I think we're like, what are we, like fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars in the profit already? Uh oh man. You asked I thought me you that, had that all you asked me that question. Oh well we oh, don't know man. how much money we're making. So, hey, uh, welcome back to our channel, guys. <laughs> Glad you're here today. And while Terry's uh, adding that up, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're not already. Approximately ahead already. $1,645. Okay. Now that's not in our pocket yet because it's got to still sell a lot of it. Ooh, so let's see. What's this? Now remember guys, 24 bucks an item. $24 an item. Like Mike said, if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Your amazing comments and those thumbs up, you guys. Got your beverage ready? I love to. Wow. Wow. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> so, and, <laughs> Mike, let's see what we got here. So, um, um, we saved this one for last, guys, for a reason. This is the one that we felt was going to be the least <clears throat> amount of excitement, but we don't know. Um, this is a big watermelon Gaylord, and it's just stuffed full of random stuff. The so random gonna, things. We're going to find out what we got. Okay. Go for it. 24 bucks an item. Here we go. Ta-da! What's this? LED bird branches. At the very end of all this, we'll give you our numbers. We'll give you the total numbers for everything. If we got all 75 items, we've been keeping track of that. These say they retailed $15. Oh, wow. How many of these do we got? Well, we're going to figure that out right now. These are, uh, that one's stuck together. LED bird branches in birch. Oh, you're right, birch. Birch. <laughs> Birch, I, I better quit reading so fast. LED birch branch in white. So, oh my gosh. One, two, three. I don't know if that one complete. Yeah, that one's in there. Four, five, yikes. So six. It looks like we got six of those guys. Now, these things are pretty rough. They're really rough. So, we don't know if um, they're any good. I mean, it looks brand new. This is a, like a shipping a tester. bag. I don't, I don't know if there's even a tester button. I don't button. think these mm -hmm. have it. So it looks like somebody ordered these online and then it was shipped. And um, Dura sells it, or batteries it says. So I know that it, this says $15 each was like the retail. But honestly, I think if these work, I think we can get $15 a piece. I was going to say 10 This one says it didn't work. This one said but it didn't work. Honestly, I've seen so many times people return stuff. I already know what you're doing. You're going to go get a battery. Yeah. People How many return batteries? stuff. This is factory sealed. Three. Three this batteries, is, I think. Unless they just ripped it out of the box, the factory seal's still on there. I'm not so sure that they weren't lying. We're going to find out, guys. You want to do this one? Uh, sure. It says didn't work, but it still has the factory seal. You're opening up that one. So let's find out. Let's see. Let's see what's going on over here. I mean, the cord's not even unwound. It even comes with the battery. All right, here we go. We're not going to put those... Uh, Duracells that they included with it. We're not going to put them in there. Didn't work. Didn't what a liar. liar. Well, look at that, guys. That thing works. It's awesome. You know what's great is right, literally, right before Christmas. Now, are these supposed so, to have stakes to stick them in the ground or anything? Doesn't show it on the... Oh, you put them in a vase. vase. All right, 15 so, bucks. You think 15? I was going to say 10 to 15. You know what? I'll give you that one right now. If you can get fifteen dollars, I'll give you that one. So fifteen times. What did we have? Four, six of them. She's gonna give me fifteen dollars, honey. Woohoo! <laughs> um, we do have six, six of them. 
And they come with Duracell batteries. That's pretty good. A lot of stuff you buy comes with cheap knockoff brand batteries. All right. All right, there we go. There we go. So obviously we're gonna have to test every one just to make sure there's nothing weird going on there, but some weirdness. Okay, Can you so see we just are... keep looking that way. I apologize. We are open right now. The, so... the doors are closed because it's cold and wet and windy and stormy, but um, somebody could walk in at any time. Whiteboard. Damaged on corner. Yeah, right, right here. there. You know what? This is still sellable. You know what? Even if it's even if we choose not to sell it, Mike, we could use it we for could our own use purposes. It in the office. I we could, could easily completely use it in the office. I could easily take this home. Ooh, I just had a great idea. And repair this frame, no problem. It wouldn't be like brand new, but I could repair it. Comes with the markers, the racer, everything. Terry had an idea. This is uh, going to be our new weekly sale board. How do you know what I just thought? Because I'm seriously weekly sale board. Really. Yes. That's what I thought, too. And so, like, we could say yes! whatever, uh, this week's sale, all bedding 25% off, oh, this week's man. sale, all kitchenware, but whatever. That's you know? an example, guys. That's an example. Example It's not happening only. right now. <laughs> I could just but see. that's exactly what it'll be. I could just see one of our weekly viewers. We love every one of you guys. All of our local viewers, too. There are a couple. Oh, I just even got a better idea. Going. And, uh. Bless you guys all. But there are a couple people that do get very confused when they watch our videos. You're absolutely they'll, right. They'll say, oh, but I wait, I saw this something with the video and you said this and that. So I could just see, and I won't mention any names here, but I could just see one person. She would walk in and say, I heard you say on the video 25% off bedding. What? Is it the one that just lost her? Oh, I didn't think of that one, man. So, hey, you guys, too. if you have not seen these before, Mike and I are just having a blast with these. We've had it for a while. It's called a Yes Dear button. They mimicked it after the staples. That was easy button. I totally agree. Yes, dear. That's the one I like. The All yes right. Dear. That, it just it cracks us up. So, and sometimes the wording that will come out of there is absolutely perfect to that moment's conversation. Okay. So, Are you we may ready? hear us pushing that occasionally. Item. I'm going to count that as no money. Okay. So I think I'm going to bring a boom item here. Bring a boom. I but think. Boom. I don't know. Look at this, you guys. You can't even see the whole thing. This is a shower caddy. Wow. What is that? What did they say that retailed? $50. $50. This is all That's anodized aluminum. Shower cover. Very nice. It is open. Does that have a, is that a mirror? Yeah. This thing's got everything. Toilet paper dispenser. In the shower? <laughs> I, I got her on that one good. It says... Uh-oh. What? It says quality concern. Fell apart. Um, Maybe they didn't assemble it correctly. That's what I'm going to check, you guys. I'm going to check and see. I need a drink of coffee. Was this... this an operator error. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, from what I can see, it looks really nice. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna search it right now. Are you? Yes. I'm gonna voice search it, so don't make no sounds. Artica Neptune Shower Caddy. Go, Google lady. You're too slow. Well, while Mike is working on Google lady, I'm going to grab another item. Wow, I don't know what that is, but that's killing me. What is this thing? Um, somebody's selling those on eBay for $40, guys. Um, it's pretty much all just resellers. They are on Amazon, probably a reseller. This guy has $139. You know what? I'm going to say... Provided everything's good, we do really well with shower caddies, especially fancy ones. I'm going to call that $40, provided everything is good with it. This says it's a cornhole set. Yeah. Zipper's on your side. Yeah, this is right here. I didn't know what you were looking for. All right, you ready? Yes. You didn't zip it down. Oh, wow. Are you kidding me right now? Look at this. Aluminum frame cornhole boards? Wow, we got 
got to see this. Are These we, are awesome. Holy Absolutely awesome. Look at this, you guys. Mike's All gonna aluminum freak lathe. Out. He's going to want to keep them. Yeah! Oh, man, guys, these are not for sale. <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> wow. These are unbelievable. These are actually awesome. Oh, my gosh. I can't even believe I'm seeing these right now. And the fact that they're all aluminum, these will never, I, can't, I don't want to say they'll never break, but they're not like those cheap particle board ones, guys. No, these are nice. You know, there's Dude, some. Look at the legs on these. And they lock into place. These are amazing. Was there a sticker anywhere that said what the value no. was? I'm going to find them. Yeah, we need to find out. Really nice, heavy um, canvas bags. These are the nicest quality cornhole set I have ever seen. I'm very impressed. Um, Go Sports is the brand. Okay. Look, they even come with the rules on how to play the game. Wow. All right. What was the branding? Go Sports. These are awesome. Oh, wait, here's a... No, that doesn't give you. Wow, these are amazing, you guys. I don't know. I mean, I would I would like to say we'll keep them, but the reality of it is we really don't need them. But these are awesome. And we've sold we've sold quite a few um, cornhole games, and we we actually do pretty good with them. 40, 50 bucks sometimes they're brand new. So this is called, this is, I found it right off on Amazon. The Rustic American Flag Edition. And they are $100 on oh. Amazon. Boom! There is a screenshot. I'm not going to lie. I, I think we can get, and they are, um, we'd have to sell these as the pre-owned. I think we could get at least 60 bucks out of these are just those, because those, of what they are. Those are used? I don't know if it's actually been used, but I mean, look, okay. you know, it's yeah. loose packaging and um, there's some used stuff. used is averaging in very good condition, but those were very good or like new, $55. So it gives us a good idea. Um, Knowing... The people that we have in our area and, you know, their tastes and their likes, I'd say at least 60 bucks in our pocket. You think 60? Oh, yeah. Okay. I was thinking 40 to 50. I could personally... How am I going less than you today? I couldn't think of anything I'd rather do. Then go less, All right. than, then go less than you today. We're going to the next item, guys. You know what? Let's settle at $50, and we'll decide if we're going to sell that or not. Okay, Mike? Okay. Um, you gave me you gave me nothing. You gave me plastic. What's this? Plastic. Pla Hang on a door. This looks like some sort of a... Portable shelf. Shoe rack or... No, I think you hang it on a door. Well, yeah, but for what? For whatever you want. Oh, for whatever you want, whatever she says, you, want. you guys. Well, let's see what the description says. Drying rack. There you go. Okay, drying rack. Says it retail $25. I didn't want because it's too thick. All right, my guess is something to do with it. Uh, maybe they had a small space huh. and these shelves were too deep. Yeah. Uh, 15 bucks. Sounds good, and it's going to go. It will. It will go. You probably even get 20 still out of that. Oh, okay. Well, let's go to 20 then. Oh, boy. Why did I say that? Here, Mike. You're great at these. Why don't you do those? Tommy Bahama Beach Umbrella. You guys, we sold a whole bunch of these. For I was. For those of you that have been here with us for a while, you know um, we had a bunch of these, and they actually yeah. sold really well for us. We were just tired of them because we had so many. How we have looking? two choice. That one's used. I can see okay. it on the sand spike. This one probably is also. Probably um, time of year and everything. So we have two choices. We can sell them now at a discounted rate just uh -huh. to get them out of the way. Or we can hold on to them until spring. 
But either way, I think the last one I sold for twenty dollars. Okay. I used one, and so, that was about a month and a half ago. So let's just call these hypothetically twenty dollars. Twenty dollars, right now, quick sale, get them out of our way. And if we wait till spring for some reason, then we'll just go twenty-five or something. But we'll just we'll wing that one. Let's get this out are of you, our way. Are you right down each individual I'm going, item? Yes. So okay. you got right 20 and 20. 20. This is how we keep track of how many items we got. Ooh, look at that. Hey. This says it retailed $90. It's a five by seven. This is an outdoor carpet, you guys. But it's like fake grass. We actually have this same one in our cabana when we set our cabana up for the summer. These are very popular with RVers. Um, I'm going to say, in fact, um, my aunt was wanting one of these. Remember that? Um, I forgot about that. You're yeah. right. You're right. They just bought a really nice, fancy um, right. RV. And I'm going to say, they just says they returned it because they didn't like it. How much is 40 it? bucks. $90. I'm going to say we're looking at 40 yeah, bucks. Yeah, $40. $40? There's a lot of you. You can probably go 40 45 We'll say we'll go 40 We'll go a little conservative on that one. $40. Okay, 40 bucks. Got it for you. All right, All ready? Right, what is this? Ooh, that's factory sealed. It's a mystery. <gasps> this is factory. I just I haven't even read it yet. I'm just looking to see this is factory sealed, guys. Ooh, what kind is of open? I'm freaking out. KS Wedge. What's a KS Wedge? I don't know, wedge? but that's a lot of money for that. Hundred and seventy dollars. What oh, is man, that? We gotta know what this open is. Carefully. We gotta know, guys. <gasps> Boom! Yes! Oh my gosh! This is gonna sell instantly! Open it! Oh man, we just hit the jackpot! Oh, what? What are you waiting for? Just stop! It's a major award! Open it, Clarky! Open it! Sparky. Sparky, no, Clarky. The mom, the, his mom calls him Clark. Oh yes, his mom. His mom. Look you at freaked me that, out. you Ooh. guys. Brand new golf wedge set in the packaging. Brand new. I mean, Kirkland brand. Oh. Brand new. My God. Wow. For those of you that are golfers, you know that when you go buy a set of clubs, they do not come with these wedges. You have to buy these separate. So. Wow. Clarky. That's a hundred dollar bill right there. Hundred dollar bill? You gotta remember that Costco says I will 170. Tell you. I will tell you what, yes. And Costco's prices are discounted. Yes. So anybody that's not a member of Costco, they can't even go buy this. And Costco doesn't Kirkland three piece wedge set. Why do you always do that right when I'm talking? Why do you talk so much? Costco doesn't do sales. <laughs> Occasionally they'll do like a manufacturer discount, but they don't run sales. <laughs> oh, I crack myself up. 170 there. Oh, oh man. Oh. Jackpot. Boom. Uh, third party sellers are selling them roughly two. Fifty. Uh, there's one for two thirty, two fifty-five. That's where. Yep. 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 yep I'm gonna scan yep, yep, eBay yep. on this. Yep. Does it have a okay, barcode? Okay. So. Yeah. Let's see. We got them down as a hundred dollars. Maybe we'll. I'll leave right there at a hundred. Maybe we'll go hundred and twenty-five or something. But for in our in our pocket, all said and done, ladies and gents. Ooh, this is a good set. So, to wash your vehicle, and they say it retail. That's it? Retails $25. You got, oh my gosh. You got all sorts of goodies in here. You got the brush, the squeegee, the tire scrubber, the, I don't know what this is. Um, oh, the wash mitt. This is the big brush to wash your vehicle. You can actually put your soap inside of this and hook your hose onto it and Don't get my white shirt all dirty. And wash away. You know what? what? Our very first ever Costco palette we ever processed had this same uh -huh. one in there, uh -huh. but it was used. And this one's brand new. 
I didn't even, it was gross. I didn't even post it. I got rid of it. This is brand new. This is awesome. Yeah. Oh, by the way, yeah. these golf clubs, yeah. these sell really well on eBay, guys. Right now, the cheapest one on there is $150 with $7 shipping. And, uh, I mean, I don't think I'm going to go that route. But even if I did, we can still come out with $100 in our pocket. Um, I this think is this is cool. completely cool. Um, it says twenty five, but I I just feel like you could still get twenty dollars for this. Oh yes. So okay, write down a twenty dollar bill. Twenty dollar bill. $20. Oh man, we the are. way our truck oh, gets dirty coming here. All right, so if I oh, turn. keep it. I'd be washing it every other day. Any more golf clubs in there? <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do we got here? A tower fan. You guys got the world famous boom mug. This is going to be one of two things. Very big. Late stock, shelf pulls, or returns. It looks factory sealed. I'm going to tell you my thought, guys. What's yours? Shelf pull. You think shelf pull? I believe it was the, and any of you that shop Costco, you know when, when they run out and there's no more left on the pallet, they throw a price tag on it, they throw it up on the shelf, the last one, it sits there until somebody grabs it. That has the, no. the tag tape right on it. Try to remember shelf pulls or last ones end in a seven, is it? I don't remember. But um, it is. Yeah, it has a little star on it. It does have the star, and I know that shelf pulls, That's or factory. not shelf pulls, that factory seal. Last ones will yeah. end in a star, though, too. Hey, you know what? Regardless, Mike, yeah, scan that. It's well, dusty on top. Costco stuff doesn't normally scan for retail, but we can scan an eBay. Ebay showing it at sixty dollars. What? Um, what? What do you mean what? What? Is that good or bad? It's thirty dollars. Hey, you know eBay sellers do what they're gonna do. That might not have been the original. Maybe they lowered it. So is there just a just a? There's scheme? another guy for thirty-five. Well, we can try that, but they don't usually. Costco doesn't usually. Okay, let's try it. Nope, only comes up for eBay. Really? And Bonanza. Bonanza. And Barcode Spider, whatever that is. That's barcode Spider. Really? How come my scanner just came up? What's what's the deal? Those are all third-party sellers. All right. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna put it down as thirty dollars. Thirty dollars, guys. Thirty dollars. Oh, ow, 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 ow! That thing's eating me up. Look what it just did to me. It don't like you. Oh. It wants me to go in there instead. Oh, man, guys. Let me go in. All right, here we go. We got a 45 by 60 chair mat. And that is exactly what just ate me up. If any of you guys are familiar with these, this one's a little different. This is just a clear one. Those chair mats that have all the little spikes in the bottom so they don't slide on the carpet. Oh, wow. I even look at Looks like I got in a cat fight. It does. That's a folding bench. We had mm -hmm. those before. Finish your fingers. So I have no idea what these chair mats sell for. They're not easy to sell. We've had them before. I'm going to call this. They say the retail on it. Was thirty seven dollars. I'm gonna call it 20, 20. 20 bucks. Okay, you guys, here's here's a laugh for the day. Mm. Obviously, this went, this was, re, this was returned, what's the date? October 14th, this was returned. So, come fall, winter's around the corner, right? Happy summer, right? Yeah, so, this side, not too bad. This side, you can tell, has been used more. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, Maybe but it, it's, it's been used. It has been, it has been used. How many camping trips did that go on? Their, their reason was, didn't want, need, like, and then the comments were, in all caps, didn't need any more. Of course they didn't. Camping season was over. Thank you, worker, for putting that in, because in that worker's minds, they were sitting there going, they were sitting there typing out the reasons on, uh -huh. with a smile, I know what you're doing. You did the rental system. That's all it was. So the refund amount was 30 bucks, guys. The cool thing about these is, we've had these before, and we oh get $25 God, like out of them here. every time. Being and that's getting blown up yeah. for them. It, I think we even in the our, our store doesn't carry them. 
Even in the off season, right now, I think we can get twenty five dollars. I think you can probably get thirty. Um, the legs are immaculate. Yeah, they're not dirty at all. It. I'm gonna put down for thirty because again, our local Costco does not care. Yeah, about I don't those. think they ever did have those here, did they? No. So that was a good thing. People didn't really know. And damn them! Whoa! I hope that what wasn't was that? breakable. Is that another floor mat? Midnight Rosé. No, that says battery. Oh, man, you hope you didn't break whatever it was. What is this? Oh, oh man, I just saw what it was. Don't tell me. Okay. I want to find out. All right. Now, if it is broken down here, that may have been my fault. If it's broken up there, that is not my fault. Guess what, guys? Another bench. Nice. Another 30 bucks. Oops. Is that what I you wrote down that. for? 30? Yes. Okay. Wow, this was shipped three days select. That was not cheap, you guys. UPS three days select. Do you need some assistance? Nope. What a wonderful idea. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys can hear that. What a wonderful idea. Okay. Well, it is broken, but it still wasn't for me because the piece is not in here. Or it's not right there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's gross! What is that? It's the cuckoos. I don't oh. know, guys. Um, we've sold a lot of used fans. Here, sniff my hand. Ew. <laughs> it, I mean, it may be uh, cleanable and sellable, but this thing's pretty dirty. You know, set it on the table. Set, set, set it up there. It's dirty um, and the, the base is broke. And it wobbly. It's kind of wobbly. Is this a heater or a fan? It says it's a 40 inch tower fan. At this point, I'm going to call it no money. What do you think? I call this no money. It looks like it was supposed to have a remote, which is <clears throat> missing. All right, no money. That's a goner. No. It's probably That's usable, a no. That's a no but money. it's below our quality level of what we sell. Well, and there's also the factor of that. We won't sell something that's that it's that beaten up like that that and it's electrical because that is a liability issues also. So there's you know you gotta draw the line somewhere. Here's another one about the same thing. In fact, I think it's the same fan. It says it was thirty dollars, guys. I mean, making weird noise. Out. So what Out we will door. do though, we will donate these because um, like Saint Vinny's. They will go through and they'll test it, and if it's usable, they'll clean it up and sell it. If it's not usable, they will send it off to an electronics recycler. So either way, it keeps it out of the landfill. Yeah. Now, that one was that one was really good. Oh, was... This one's an interesting one also. Okay. What? That's gonna be heavy. I'm gonna let yeah. you grab that. Okay. So this is interesting. That's interesting. It doesn't look interesting to me. It looks like it looks it, used and abused. It does. It's been, yeah. you know, All that's, right, guys. that's scary. That's one of the scary things about buying Costco. There's great stuff, stuff you cannot get in, you know, usually anywhere else. But they will take anything back at any level. Okay, so we've got a Easy Up Instant Canopy. And usually... For San Francisco 49ers. Usually if these things... Are broken, you can tell right away. Because usually it's right here in the frame. It's usually right in one of these little joints. I'm not seeing anything broken right off, guys. This one might be good. Let's, let's pull it out just somewhat. You know, yeah, like that. There you go. Just to take a peek. It looks like it's good, and I don't even see any rips in the fabric. So, this might be a winner. When we've had these before, we didn't think that they were going to sell very well. Mm -mm. And they sold fast. Which told me we had a lot of 49ers fans in this area that we didn't know about. Um, I don't see it's a, a winner. I don't see a rip right off. You don't see a rip either? No. That would have been my first concern, if not the frame. The, yeah, no, I don't, I don't see, see one either. You know what this is? It's a boom. Boom! 60 bucks! 
Wow, you just scared me. Well, let's see what this retails. It doesn't matter. I want to know the It's a 10 by 10. There we go. $60. 10 by 10. I'm going to look to see if it had a sticker on it. Well, the reason I say it doesn't matter is because we get... It matters. It doesn't have a sticker. Hold on. I goofed that one. I'm holding up. San Francisco 49er pop-up canopy, 10 by 10. And it's Coleman, which is even better. And there's a gold. There's a gold. 260. I'm just going to read off some 49ers here. Oh, forget that. Whatever. That's some special, special, special one. 240, 215. Those. those are cheap ones, cheaper ones. Uh, 180, maybe. So it does give us an idea roughly. There it is. 215 similar. compared to three similar. stores. 215, 224, 300. You know, close enough. We we know that we're looking at over $200 retail on those. Wait, that's a 10 by 10? Yeah. Okay, so the ones we got before were 12 by 12s. I just went to my previous listings you guys and I'm gonna call this seventy dollars seventy dollars as long as the outside bag okay. was was beaten and it was probably because it was put into the bed of a truck is gonna be my guess is why it looked that way this part what we can see looks great so um, seventy dollars unless I find out something different on it. Any idea what the heck this thing is? A cage for Mike. Um, you know, looks like those are two legs that are gonna come down. It's, it doesn't matter what it is; it's broken. That's what it is right here. Well, it's zero money. That's yeah. what it is. It's no, zero. Man. We're moving Get on. Get this garbage out of here! I almost oh, threw it. What's this? I almost threw it for Marie, but then I decided not to. Woo! Oh, oh man, we got another twig, guys. This one's in a little bit rougher shape. We're going to call this one, uh, well, we're going to call this one eight bucks if it works. So this is two office mats. Oh, my gosh. They're, they're, they're overly heavy, though. Eight dollars. Is this zero for that? Yes. Yes. Okay. So these are Ooh. more more chair mats. These are hard, aren't they? Yeah. Two of them. Uh, each one retails twenty nine dollars. They returned it. They had a quality concern. It says they were slippery. slippery yeah, they look it, pretty sweat. slippery. It does. Try running on that with your socks. You'll be doing like the Tom Cruise, like the. You know, I would Tom love Cruise, to see like you in uh, this. Um, what was that movie? Um, Cocktail. Risky business. Risky business. I mean. Yeah. Um, I want to see you demo this. Stuff. I'll probably break my neck. Uh, obviously, we're going to have to try to figure out how to lay these out and get them. We don't have sun with good heat That's right now. That's usually how you relax those so, guys is with the warmth. Um, I'm not going to take it home and put it by my fireplace. Fif Fifteen either. bucks each. What do you think? I was going to say ten each. Oh, okay, wow. fifteen each. We'll try it. Fifteen and fifteen. So we can keep count of per item's why. All right, 15 and okay, 15, guys. What go. we might be able to do is just roll. You might be able to roll these. I wonder how they had them in the store. Because here's the stickers rolling, just rolling. stuck on there. All right. So we have another didn't want me like. Did not like. Omni Breeze fan. Ta -da! Well, obviously, this is not brand new because it is a return. Did not want like. That was off that broken thing, guys. Let's see oh, what we got here. Look at this chair, man. This one's happy, tragic. I'm happy. Oh, okay. If you're happy, I'm happy. Hold on, I gotta show them something. What are you show them? Ew. Can you guys see that? What is that old saying? Birds of feather flock together? Bird feather. Um, the stand's not attached. It's not new, though. It's got fuzz down here on the cord. 
But that one's in really good shape. Hopefully the remote's in there. Hot summer, still $25, $30. I'll go $25. All right. That mat, I'm going to call that, that mat no money. That thing is so wrinkled up, I don't know that, that we would ever be able to get that straightened out, you guys. All right, All another, right fan. What another fan. What do you got? Another fan, not factory sealed. Hopefully they didn't use it and abuse it. I mean, they put it back in the bag and everything. I mean, it looks pretty decent. We'll call this one 25. Looks okay. All right. Now remember, we paid $24 an item, guys. So some of these, we're barely even making anything at all. But well, we are in the black, so that that's a good thing. Broken umbrella. Ouch. No money. This is interesting. Do you hear me? Broken umbrella, no money. Yeah. That one was broke. Ooh, what's that? Ultra thin LED panel. I'm assuming a mirror. It says it's a skylight. It's a it skylight. It is. It's a skylight. Check it out. A skylight. It's a skylight. Yeah. Oh. So you. <laughs> It's not a skylight, you guys. It is a flush mount ceiling light. So skylight is, it's an LED light panel. Let's see if we can open it. I will tell you, from what I see though, it's pretty cool. So it's a, it's a light panel, but it's flat to look like a skylight in a way. You know, so you don't, you're not feeling those that weird um, big lights up on your ceiling. This is gonna make it feel more roomy and not as enclosed. And it's, it's yeah. LED. That's a pretty cool idea. Um, I think I saw somewhere on here where it was even color changing. Oh, so stop you can, it. Not, not like you're thinking. Oh. Um, oh, maybe not, no, okay. So this is a 4,000 um k which is the color so it's going to be kind of a not a real bright white it's going to be a warm white it says it retailed 50 dollars. it says that it failed you know what it doesn't look like it was ever installed to me installed. how much was it 50 50 um sure. what are you thinking i'm, I'm gonna thinking say 35 bucks as i say examine it and i'm gonna say 30 30 because we got just one yeah that's the thing, though. It's just one. 30 bucks, guys. Man, okay. I'm trying to think if there's somewhere I can use that. I mean, that would be so cool. Another project for you guys. I got all sorts of projects waiting for Mike. Ta-da! Look at that! Ta Don't get excited. These are almost always broken. And well and used. If you used. guys are ever looking at buying a pallet with a bunch of tents in it, keep that in mind. They're usually used and broken. Sometimes I swear people have broke the poles just as an excuse to return them because they only used it for the one time during hey. the summer. I'm serious. I mean, we've gotten them returned that didn't even have the poles in them. We had one brand new tent, and we sold it, and the guy brought it back, and he or he messaged us. He says, "Um, I yeah. just took this He's out of the you package, have the poles? and the poles are missing. Can can I come back to your house or wherever it was at and get the poles?" We're like, "What?" And needless to say, he got his money back. So the poles are in here. It's not that we didn't open it and check it. We opened it and checked it. And we're like, "Hey, it's a brand new tent." We're gonna check see the poles. This are one there. is not brand. Is this an easy up? Oh, this is an instant up, guys. So as long as this isn't broke, this is a winner. Oh, can we set it up right now? Where? Right above us. So we'll have to check all the all the joints. If you guys aren't familiar with these instant up, all the poles are built in, and you pop up the center of the tent, and then the poles just lock in. But they are very commonly broken. So what would we call this size? Uh, like, is there a thing to scan somewhere? Coleman, it probably instant, won't scan. Instant dome tent. They usually Let's just call it, go ahead. Go ahead, try that. They usually have a name. 
Coleman right usually has a, a name. Coleman Instant Dome Tent. The they usually tent. have a name on each of their tents, you know, like Canyon or Ridgeline or whatever. I don't see one on this one. Let's see. Has a Costco item number. You can try that. Uh, I might try that. It says. How many people? They didn't like it because it was price. too thin. Well, what's their price on it? Their price says seventy dollars. Um, five person. If it's good, we have no trouble selling tents, and our most requested are Coleman tents. We'll have people actually message us. They'll say, "Do you have any tents, and are they Coleman?" So I feel really good. Coleman Instant Dome Tent Five Person. There you go. They probably got that hunt. And it says, "I really, I feel really good, Coleman." Apparently you had already hit the button when I was still talking about it. I'm calling All right. it 45. 50 bucks. 50, okay. 50 bucks, 50 dollars. We're just calling it. All After right. We got to there. Another. Oh. Well, we have another one of these big shower caddies, guys. Do we have a return reason? Mirror is cracked. So well, here's what we're going to say. You can't get mad in your shower and break your mirror. We're going to say the other one, um, it, they said it fell apart. And we called that one, I can't remember how much. We're going to call this one zero, and between the two of them, we should be able to make one good one. Well, why didn't I think of that? Why didn't I think of that? Because I'm the master. Boom! <laughs> the master at boom. All right, guys. Is that it? Last item. Oh, the snake fighter. For that neon green snake is that we're talking about on the live the carpet from the trees protect and uh, um, Marie did comment back about that was a boom snake or something like that boom slang um, this is that chair mat that got me guys and it, I mean it got me look at that it looks like a snake attacked me uh, these do sell though this one says it was $60. We're going to sell it for 20 bucks just to get rid of it. I don't want this thing in my way. I don't want it Scratching in the store. me all up. Some of the scratch themselves. No, what I'm going to do me is here. I'm going to post this up and uh, I'll keep it back here. I'll post it up and let somebody message online about it. So all right. Let's take a break. Let's add this up. I know we have a lot of stuff. So we're going to add this all up. We'll be right back. And let's get the, the final uh, numbers of these four pallets from Costco. Yes. All right. Be right back. All right, guys, we're back. Terry got it all tabulated, and calculated, and formulated, and automated, and <laughs> automated. miscombobulated. I don't know. Anyway, what do we got? What do we okay, got? so this palette alone had 32 items. 32 items at $24 a piece would break it down to $768. That was our most expensive pallet then. Is what this pallet would wow, have cost okay. if you bought it by itself at $24 a piece. Our potential sales on this pallet is $693. So we would have taken a loss of $75 for this pallet. If we would have been buying the pallets individually. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Okay. And but how we do our pricing, and this is all... Bottom line, money in our pocket numbers. So, but all four pallets are supposed to have 75 items. Our count, we have 71 items. We are missing four items off the, the four pallets. My assumption is probably going to be this one because it was an open. It was open. It was open all over on the top. I personally, as terrible as this is, I'm not going to deal with it. Um, one, you have to be in a certain percentage to file a claim with this company. It's more time, and two, work, and headache. It's a headache. Yeah. It is the biggest, biggest, biggest headache with claims with this company. All right. So, so four, so, four, I'm gone. Yes. Whatever. Let it go. I know we it's, made money. Yes. So, all four pallets, our potential, we paid $1,800. Our potential sales, wow, 
$4,138. That's a potential profit of $2,338. Boom! That is a major boom, guys. That is over a double up on a four pallet load. Yes. Wow. You know, waiting oh. two months pretty much to get yes. this order. Yeah. Yeah. At that, Let, at that point, like I said at the very beginning on pallet number one, to me, I know we've put that money out there. I know that's still on our, our books, but it also feels like bonus money because it was so long ago. Feels like. It does. It was so long ago. It's not like I just put this money out three weeks ago, you know? It was so long ago. You have moved on almost from that money. You're working in your business without that money already. So now it's kind of like this bonus surge that has came into your business in a way. So, go All ahead. Right. I was just saying, I didn't move on. I, I like, didn't move on. I still want my money. I want it back now. <laughs> so, you know, if we put a factor in there for pain and suffering, <laughs> of 10, having 000. as much as we had to deal with with that... Oh, freight God. company and all of that. I mean, I lost half a day of my day off. I don't know how many with that. Company. How many emails, phone calls? Um, there was so much involved in it that you know. If you, luckily for us, because I'm you know, shake, shaking my head. Uh, we don't have employees and we don't claim payroll and we don't claim, um, we claim hourly other. wages. We don't factor in. Um, time lost for stuff like that. But if we did, you know, it would have been significant. I think so. the one that got me the worst out of all of it was just not how long it took. But when I got a hold of the distribution center back east. No, customer service. The customer center. service for the freight company. And the guy on the phone raised his voice to me. And so then I elevated mine and there it went that that he was and mike he, really elevated he, his. That, that he was like you know yes ma'am he should, it wasn't to say like i'm sorry ma'am your order is out there for two months no raising your voice and then starting to yell at me that's what got me right. that was the kicker actually so you know the worst thing about it is what we gotta sell all this stuff? he's gonna be looking for a new job i do feel bad for that and he may get hired by another company we do business with so our oh, days with man. that guy might not be over. Oh, man. Hey, I appreciate you guys being here today for the conclusion of this. And Whatever you say. Exactly. And uh, I hope you guys found this, whatever, informative, fun, entertaining, whatever it was. For us, it was major boom. We're glad we finally got it. And uh, now we move on to something else. And if you're curious about being a reseller, you're like, man, how much fun is that? All honesty. I don't have employees. It's just us, and I don't want to do that stuff. I would rather go open up that pallet and play with that one next. <laughs> you guys saw how many how many broken things and this and that we threw off to the side, nasty fans and this and that. So it's all part of the part of the business. Fun and adventure. All right, guys. Have a great day. All right. Take keep, care. Keep laughing, everybody. We'll see you on the next video. Bye. Bye.